I extend a warm welcome to you for the first program of Fundamental of Chemistry, CHEM 3505, which will focus on the periodic table. So before we start, it is very important to highlight the profound importance of the periodic table. Then Alexander Emily Bagwardichen Curtois first time created the cylindrical representation of the periodic table. In 1862, he arranged the elements based on their atomic weights along a spiral, grouping the elements of similar properties in the same vertical line. He arranged 16 elements in single spiral. This was termed as telluride helix, as the cylindrical periodic arrangement included the element tellurium in it. This precursor to the modern periodic table provided a visual way to see the periodicity of element, foreshadowing the organization later refined by the Mendeleev and other. However, De Chincourtois only published his paper, but did not publish his actual graph with the irregular arrangement. Although his publication was significant, but it was again ignored by chemists. as well as it was written in term of geology then john newland in 1884 suggested that when elements are arranged in the order of increasing atomic mass every eighth element possessed the similar properties with the first one and it resembles the musical octaves however certain shortcomings in the law of octaves led to its rejection within the scientific community some of the limitations in newland's law of octaves are for example several elements were fit into the same slot in newland's periodic classification for example cobalt and nickel were placed in the same slot similarly elements with dissimilar properties were grouped together for example the halogens were placed together with some metals such as cobalt nickel and palladium and thirdly newland's law of octaves held true only for the elements up to calcium elements with greater atomic mass could not be accommodated into octaves so in 1862 lodermeyer established his own periodic table which include 28 elements in six groups and he first time attempted to organize the elements based on their atomic volumes in early 1860s mere independently developed his periodic system in which he arranged the elements in order of increasing atomic volumes he observed that elements with similar chemical properties occurred at regular intervals demonstrating the periodicity in the properties of the elements for example here you can see that uh, sodium potassium and rubidium are occupying the similar positions in the periodic table it means they are placed in the the same group according to the lodermeyer then in 1869 mendeleev observed that certain group of elements tended to form similar hydrides and oxides for example elements of group 1 alkali metals they form hydrides with the formula rh and oxide with the formula ro where r represents the metal this rep pattern repeated in other groups as well so this helped the mendeleev to establish the periodicity of the elements and the systematic consideration of hydrides and oxides contributed to the success of mendeleev's periodic table in predicting the properties of undiscovered elements he also divided the elements within the same group into two subgroups labeled as a and b mendeleev recognized that certain elements with the group exhibited distinct properties compared to other in the same group and he classified the elements in in the a subgroup as the main group elements which generally displayed the predictable and characteristic behavior 
On the other hand, the B subgroup consisted of what Mendeleev referred to as transition elements. These elements exhibited transitional or intermediate properties between the main group elements and they often displayed variable oxidation states and showed a transition in their electronic configuration, making them distinct from the more predictable behavior of the main group elements in the subgroup A. This arrangement reflected Mendeleev's effort to group the elements based on their shared characteristics and properties. So Mendeleev's periodic table is very important and it was greatly appreciated by the scientific community because of some important outcomes of this periodic table. First of all, Mendeleev arranged the elements very systematically and he predicted some of the new elements along with their properties. For example, in group 3b and period 4, he left space for an element and named it as Ecaboron. Later, when this element was discovered, it was named Scandium. Similarly, a gap was left at group 3a and period 4th in second series and it was named as Eka Aluminium. Mendeleev also predicted the properties of this Eka Aluminium and when later the element was discovered, it was named as Gallium and the properties were in good agreement with those which were proposed by the Mendeleev. He made a very bold statement here. We all have not discovered this element yet. In the meantime, I am going to give it a name and it is one step from the aluminium. So I will call it Eka Aluminium. Eka being one in Sanskrit. Third important aspect of the Mendeleev periodic table was that when the noble gases were later discovered, these were easily accommodated in Mendeleev's periodic table without any change in the position of different elements. Mendeleev also corrected some doubtful atomic masses which were calculated by Berzelius. For example, he corrected the atomic masses of beryllium, indium, gold, platinum and uranium. For beryllium, for example, the atomic mass earlier reported was 9.4 and Mendeleev corrected it to the correct mass that is 13.5. Similarly, the mass of indium was corrected from 113 to 75.6. However, Mendeleev's periodic table also suffered from some of the limitations due to which it was greatly criticized by some of the scientists of his time as well and these limitations are number one anomalous position of hydrogen if you look at the properties of the hydrogen they resemble with the alkali metals as well as halogens just like alkali metals hydrogen form compounds with halogens oxygen and sulfur and just like halogens they form similar compounds so the position of hydrogen wall anomalous. So he was not able to justify the position of the hydrogen in his periodic table. Secondly, position of isotopes could not be explained in Mendeleev's periodic table and he placed all the isotopes of an element in the same box. For example, protium, deuterium and tritium having different atomic weights were given the same position in Mendeleev's periodic table. Similarly, chlorine 35 and 37 were placed at the same position. In some cases, atomic masses in Mendeleev's periodic table do not increase in a regular manner of two successive elements. For example, cobalt was placed before nickel while the mass of cobalt is greater than that of the nickel. Similarly, tellurium was placed before iodine whereas the mass of the tellurium was less than mass of the iodine. Some pair of elements in Mendeleev's periodic table were also possessing the anomalous position. For example, cobalt and mercury, gold and platinum, lead and barium, silver and thallium, manganese and halogen. They were placed separately 
although they were similar in properties similarly cobalt was placed in group 1 so these were some anomalous positions of the some pairs of the elements in mendeleev's periodic table so lothar meyers and mendeleev's findings for the formulation of today's periodic table were based on the same principle so due to the great contribution of mendeleev towards the periodic table he is called the father of the modern periodic table but lothar meyer and mendeleev's periodic table was based on the common principle that is that periodicity in the properties of element is based on the atomic weight so some of the scientists were of the view that lothar meyer should be given the title of the father of the modern periodic table instead of the mendeleev so let's look at the contribution of both the scientists towards the periodic table to conclude that mendeleev is the right person who was chosen to be given the title as the father of the modern periodic table although lothar meyer presented his periodic table earlier 7 years before that of mendeleev but the mendeleev periodic table was more comprehensive and well organized he left gaps for undiscovered elements and predicted the properties of the elements to be discovered no such thing was calculated by the lothar meyer similarly mendeleev included 63 elements in his periodic table while lothar meyer included only 28 elements in his periodic table mendeleev predicted the properties of the gallium and germanium which were later proved to be correct no such prediction was given by the lothar meyer importantly mendeleev had a great predictive power due to which he gained the support of the influential chemist of his time he was an effective advocate for his system which helped in the widespread acceptance of his periodic table the geographical location of mendeleev was also suitable for the acceptance of his work among the scientific community due to more visibility in the global scientific community due to his location so lothar meyer's periodic law was a significant contribution to understanding of the periodicity among elements the which we mendeleev's periodic table gained wider acceptance due to its predictive power comprehensiveness and systematic organization of elements based on both atomic weights and chemical properties so mendeleev's periodic table actually laid the foundation for the modern periodic table which remains as a fundamental tool in chemistry today